All right, so this is HP Pavilion 14-CE3609SA. The screen does have issues, so we're going to replace it. First of all, let's check the model number, which is that one. To find the exact model number of the replacement screen, what you should do, you need to open up the screen first to find the exact model number, because that would be printed right behind the screen. So you can have the right replacement without making any mistakes. So first press the power button, turn it off completely. And then we're going to take out the front bezel. To take out the front bezel, we can use any sort of flat opening tool. The plastic would be better. Even you can use any business or plastic card like that. Try from the side way. That would be much more easier. Be careful, this is very thin plastic, so that could break easily. And if you find any difficulties, which should be right next to the center. So as you can see, the webcam from the top and HP logo at the bottom, these two part attached with strong adhesive. So if it doesn't open up, that's fine. Don't force it. Just skip it for now. Try the other side around, okay? As you can see, this is quite stiff. That's fine. I'm going to open the other side. And at the end, I'm going to take a hair dryer, blow some hot air to melt down and soften the adhesive so easily that it came out. So let me show you how I did it. Please do not use any sort of metal tool like that. Otherwise, there is a risk of damaging the actual bezel or the screen itself. You can use plastic card or very th thin metal flat opening tool if you're too confident. And now I'm going to use the hair dryer to blow some hot air right next to the HP logo at the bottom center and right next to the webcam at the top center and then gently I'm going to pull out and it should come out without any issue So this is the actual plastic bezel and at the bottom as you can see they used such a strong adhesive. Try to clean this up and later on we're going to use double sided tape. As you can see all the prom and core didn't break because we spent enough time about 17 to 18 minutes just to open up the top part. Now this type of screen they attached without any screws right and bottom what they done they use very strong adhesive right behind the lcd okay so what you need to do is we just need to pull the actual adhesive which is attached right on the left the white you know part that you can see on the left right here and on the right hand side also they used the same thing so here and there so you're going to pull out one by one and that should be cleared Thank <laughs> you. 
Now this part is very important because you're going to handle the 30 pin very sensitive LCD connector to remote which is attached with strong adhesive and you can find the right HP part number and model number. So you can use this model number to order the right replacement. So once you have the right tool and the right replacement, you are good to go and you can disconnect the 30 pin connector. So when you press the side of the bezel, be careful, be gentle. If you press too much, you might damage the actual screen. And make sure there is no gap. Once close it and double check if there is any gap. I can see everything is fine. So we're going to start up and check if it is working. It's all fine. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye for now.